ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Impact Pro Wrestling. Welcome back to IPW. Tonight we have a great show planned for all of you watching at home and everyone here in our great nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first match of the evening. We are going to see the famous one, Austin Famous, go one-on-one -on -one with the wrestling revolutionist, Justice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is match number two of the night. We are going to have the alliance, Cody Cole and Bobby Brock go up against the new team of Tommy Hart and the All-American Robert Reyes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is match number three. Continuing on from last week where we found out that Jack Smith will be one of the two men that will be going to Hell on Earth in three weeks for the number one contender match to find out who will face Jackson Wright for the IPW television title. This is the second match that will determine who will go up against Jack Smith in three weeks at Hell on Earth. It will be Doc Adams. It will be DJ Summers, or it will be the professional Evan Perkins. We will see in match number three, will it be the DJ, will it be the hitman, or will it be the professional? Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. This is match number four. It will be the manliest man in IPW, Ryan O'Ryan, going one-on-one -on -one with the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, Beast. Now, this may be our main event of the evening, but we have to build up to the main event and we're going to start the build up to this amazing matchup between two unstoppable forces with Justice, the wrestling revolutionist, going one on one with the famous one, Austin Famous. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time for our first match of the evening. To begin, it will be this man, the famous one, awesome famous one, one-on-one -on -one with the wrestling revolutionist, Justice. Now, in my personal opinion, some may have a different opinion, but I think that this match is a hundred percent in Justice's favor. Austin Famous, a great talent here on IPW, an agile man, a strong man, a technically sound man, an extremely confident man. But that being said, he's an extremely unfocused or just uncaring man. He's been in IPW for a very long time. He's done some great matches here, but he is simply not focused enough to pull out a huge victory. He's not focused enough to really pull out anything to help himself. We seem to be more focused on other things that are not the wrestling world. Unlike this man, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you, this is Justice. Unlike Austin Famous, Justice is a very, very focused man. Now, you, you might have heard me call this man the wrestling revolutionist because Justice is, by definition, a revolutionist. He seeks to revolutionize the wrestling world, and he does that every single night. He is out here by putting on the very best match he can, which, in my opinion, are some of the best matches that we've seen on IPW. It's only a matter of time before this man right here is IPW champion. And we'll see him rise to that occasion slowly but surely with every single win that he accumulates. Now we will see if my prediction is correct. Will it be Justice walking out of this match victorious? Or will Austin Famous come out of this match the victor against my own predictions? We're seeing Austin Famous start off this match aggressively right here. Quick pin attempt and there's some cockiness for you. But Justice getting out of that very quickly. Often going for a nice soul kick. But you can see Justice 
Nice back suplex and a little bit of cockiness of his own there with a nice kip up. Now Justice locking Austin Famous in that camel clutch, but Austin able to quickly escape that headlock on Justice. Nice pup handle suplex. Great move right there by Austin Famous. Justice getting back on his feet as quickly as possible. And Austin getting Justice on his feet now entirely. Sending Justice into those ropes. Oh, and look at that. Looks like Justice going to beat Austin in his own game here. Quick pinfall right here for Justice. But Austin Famous able to kick out at two. Austin Famous with some nice strong strike right there, showing off the striking game here. Climbing up to the second rope, and we might see the famous one fly with a nice missile drop kick from the second rope. A great move right there by Austin Famous. And comboing it right there with a nice kick right to the back. Justice, nice punch to the gut. But Austin Famous sending Justice outside to the apron and now sending him all the way to the outside. Now Justice being measured here by Austin Famous. Looks like Austin. Oh, looks like he's going to psych out everybody here. We were all expecting some flight. But Austin getting back on the ground. Fireman's carry position and just going to slam Justice's spine right into the barricade. You can see Justice just getting dominated out here on the outside of the ring. Referee still counting. You're currently on a four count. Currently on a five count. Nice move right there by Austin Famous. Nice butterfly suplex. And now look at this. Justice may finally be coming back right here with a nice move. Now Justice getting back into the ring. And taking a minute right here to taunt Austin Famous. Trying to get the crowd on his side as well. And... Austin getting back into the ring right now, but Justice had it scouted, sending him outside once again to the apron. But pulling him back right here with that nice hot shot. Justice getting Austin on his feet. Fireman's carry position right here. And here comes the stun gun. Justice. Nice leg drop right there by Justice. And here comes another leg drop. Stereo leg drops right there by Justice. You can see Justice here targeting the head of Austin Famous. We know that he is targeting that for the finishing move. The Gord Buster knee strike, but the move that we all know that Justice calls it the revolution. It is an amazing move, and it's a move that will definitely knock you out if you are hit by it. That's something that Austin must avoid at all costs. You do not want to be hit by the revolution. Now Austin Famous setting up Justice one more time. We saw this earlier in the match. Here comes this nice face buster, but no pinfall attempt this time. Going to go right back on the assault of Justice. Going for something there, but Justice able to get out of it. And delivering a nice neck breaker right here. Now Justice getting Austin Famous back onto both of his feet. Snapmare right there on Austin Famous. Now you can see Justice going to slow down the pace of this match a little bit by wrenching his hold he has right here on Austin Famous. Looks like he's got that nice chin lock. Locked right there on Austin. Really applying pressure there. You can see him wrenching it right here. Austin with a nice knee strike to Justice, but Justice just not going to be able to uh, to get in position for Austin Famous to really combo that with anything. Now you can see Justice setting up Austin Famous on the top rope, but Austin able to reverse. Nice drop kick from the top rope right there by Austin Famous. Austin going to take a moment in that corner. Not a smart move right there. If I do say so myself, he's leaving Justice time to recover, and you can see what that time gave him. Oh, look at this. You can see 
Austin Famous delivering that nice backstab with those double knees. Pinfall attempt right here by Austin. That's one, that's two. But Justice just able to kick out. You can see Austin Famous arguing with the referee. He hit that backstabber. Oh, and look at that. He was so close to hitting the fame and fortune, the finishing move, but just not close enough right there. Now Austin going to continue his assault on Justice, delivering that nice boot right to the chest. Going for something here. Justice nice reversal right there at the back body drop reversal. Now you can see Justice dragging off the famous center of that ring and stomping right on the face of Justice. I'm sorry, right on the face of Austin Famous. Apologies for that verbal blunder there. But you can see Justice now taking control, applying that nice DDT. Here comes Justice. Oh, look at that. I thought, I thought he was going for a leg drop, but no, he went for that knee drop. And you can just see the wind up on that knee. You know that hurt. Great belly to belly suplex right there by Austin Famous. Pinfall right here, but Justice immediately getting the kick out. Nice spinning leg drop right there by Austin Famous. Now Austin setting up Justice. Snapmare position here, sit it up. And now applying Justice on his one knee. And just gonna set up Justice, slamming his face into that turn buckle. At the very least, that's disorienting of nothing else. At the very most, you know that's gotta be hurting. Justice, nice boot. Right to the face right here. Some strong strikes right here. Here comes another stun gun right there by Justice. Justice playing to the crowd here, trying to get the fans on his side. And you can see Justice measuring Austin's famous. And Austin has just been hit with the full impact of the revolution. That knee strike to the face. And the finishing move by Justice, the revolution, gave him the victory here. One, two, three. A great match right here by Austin Famous. A great match by Justice. Austin Famous showing off a lot here. A lot of his own skill, as I mentioned earlier. A very skilled man in that ring. But not focused enough to win. Justice just the better man tonight. A great match by both of these men. And congratulations to Justice on his victory here. You can see some of the great highlights of this matchup. Austin Famous. The nice backstabber here. You can see this great knee drop right here by Justice. Was not expecting that in the slightest. The wind up there was ridiculous. Great belly to belly suplex right there by Austin Famous. He went for the pin, but this just wasn't it. Of course, we know that the knee strike to the face, the revolution, was the ending of this matchup, giving Justice here the 1 2 3 victory. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as Justice celebrates, it's time for us to move on for our second match of the evening here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our second match of the evening and the match that will be coming up next. This match next is the alliance Bobby Brock and Cody Cole. Cody Cole and Bobby Brock going into this matchup against this tag team of the heartbreaker Tommy Hart and the all-American Robert Reyes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our second match of the evening to begin. Our second match, of course, being a tag team match. And here comes one of our tag teams here, or one half of one of our tag teams. Here comes the All-American Robert Reyes. Gotta wonder what Robert Reyes, as well as his tag team partner Tommy Hart, are thinking coming into this match. Coming into this match against an experienced tag team, former Impact Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, 
of course getting their tag team championship rematch in three weeks on the pay-per-view hell on earth and of course robert reyes and tommy hart not an experienced tag team never been tag team champions two men that are just getting put together here it seems like we'll see what uh what quote unquote the new name for this tag team the american heartbreakers what are we to do here Robert Reyes, of course, an experienced member of IPW. We know that he can go. We know that Tommy Hart just as well can put on one hell of a match, one hell of a show. But that, of course, is in a singles competition. We'll see if they can really pull it off here in tag team competition. Now, we do have Robert Reyes standing in the ring waiting for his tag team partner. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the heartbreaker here comes tommy hart and we'll see what tommy hart will be able to do here in this matchup we'll have to see the tag team uh, chemistry that will have to be formed here between tommy hart and robert reyes if they ever hope to really beat this tag team of cody cool and bobby brock former tag team champions the alliance it seems that tommy hart and uh Robert Reyes may just be complete opposites here. Robert Reyes, a little bit more down-earth, very nationalist attitude, while Tommy Hart, very, I don't want to say cocky, but very outgoing and very confident, very fun-loving guy. Seems to be two conflict of personalities, but we'll see how those two personalities will mix here when they go up against these men, or or or, or this man, as it, uh, as it looks. Here comes Bobby Brock, of course, one half of the Alliance, but we do not see his tag team partner, Cody Cole. Not sure where Cody Cole is. Uh, Bobby Brock getting in the ring, still having that attitude he's had before, but we'll uh, have to see where Cody Cole is. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like this match is um is about to begin. Looks like this match was was formerly a one-on-one -on -one contest. I'm sorry, a two-on-two -two contest. Uh, the Alliance, Cody Cole and Bobby Brock, against Robert Reyes and Tommy Hart. Uh, but appears it's turned into a a one-on-two contest. Bobby Brock against Tommy Hart and Robert Reyes. We'll see what Bobby Brock will be able to do here in this handicap matchup it seems we're not sure where Cody Cole is or or why he's not out here with his tag team partner but so far early parts of this matchup it seems that Bobby Brock has been keeping main control Tommy Hart trying to take control here Irish whips here nice drop toe hold right there by Tommy Hart now getting Bobby on his feet gut red suplex a great move right there by Tommy Hart once gotta wonder where Cody Cole is we know the Alliance former tag team champions. I don't think that Cody Cole would be the kind of man to leave his tag team partner alone during a tag team match, especially when they're trying to regain those championships to have a rematch coming in three weeks on Hell on Earth. This is going to be not going to be good for the Alliance. Tommy Hart sending Bobby Brock outside to the apron, trying to send him down to the floor, but Bobby Brock countering, getting back into the ring, delivering a nice belly to belly right there to Tommy Hart. Looks like Bobby Brock with a nice Northern Light suplex right there on Tommy. Tommy, nice reversal right here, attacking that arm. And now Tommy sending Bobby Brock into his corner to his tag team partner, Robert Reyes. And you can see Tommy Hart just whipping Bobby Brock right into the knees of Robert Reyes. Robert Reyes delivering a nice German suplex, but Bobby Brock not going to go down easily right here. Attacking that leg of Robert Reyes with a nice dragon screw. Single leg Boston Crab for a split second there, but he already knew but Robert Reyes was right there, right next to those ropes. The hole would have been broken up immediately. Now Bobby Brock 
really proving his wrestling dominance here. One's got to wonder exactly when the numbers game is going to catch up with him. He's proving his dominance over Tommy Hart, proving dominance over Robert Reyes. But you got to believe at some point in this matchup, this is not a one-on-one. -on -one. Sometime in this matchup, the one-on-two is just going to catch up with Bobby. You can see Robert Reyes trying to catch up with Bobby in the one-on-one -on -one standpoint after that Lufas press. Nice leg drop right there by Robert Reyes. Now coming up for another one. A great leg drop right there by Robert. Bobby Brock, nice reversal right there, sweeping the leg. Now look at this. Bobby just going to slam Robert Reyes' face right there into the canvas. Oh, look at this. Bobby Brock. Just going to slam Robert Reyes' back into that turnbuckle. And then just throw him close to the center of that ring. Now Bobby Brock going up to the second rope. Bobby Brock not be not the, not the flyer of the tag team. But we're going to see him fly right there with that nice elbow from the second rope. Not the flyer of the tag team. But Robert Reyes just going to face the full impact of that elbow here. But now Robert trying to take control one more time here. Nice forearm shot. And nice running bulldog. Now Robert Reyes putting Bobby Brock back into his corner. Trying to tag in his tagging partner. But you can see Bobby Brock trying to fight out of the corner. But Robert Reyes going to slam him down with that nice reverse DDT. Now we can see Robert Reyes tagging in his partner here. Tommy Hart. And Tommy Hart setting up Bobby right here in the snapmare position here. Here comes Tommy, delivering a nice suplex right there to Bobby Brock. A quick dragon sleeper, but Tommy Hart, knowing full well that Bobby Brock is right next to his rope, that hole would have been broken up instantly, so he's going to break it himself here. Reversal right there by Bobby Brock. Irish hook into the corner, but Bobby not going to be able to combo it here. But he is going to still maintain dominance with that nice headlock. And a punch right to the face. You can see Bobby Brock trying to get the crowd on his side right there. Headlock and a punch. Well, a punch attempt at least. Maybe a punch threat. Nice reverse suplex right there. Performed by Bobby Brock. Uh, I, I gotta say guys, I'm looking at the stage right now. I'm gonna be wondering when is Cody Cole gonna come running down from that stage, running from backstage for whatever reason he has to come help out his partner here. Bobby Brock really proving his own wrestling prowess here, really putting himself through the paces here, really showing off something to all these fans about how great of a wrestler he is. But I think that we are seeing, even if it's slow, how the two-on-one advantage is really catching up with Bobby Brock. Now Tommy getting Bobby back onto his feet. And Tommy delivering a nice neck breaker right there to Bobby Brock. But Bobby Brock, nice reversal right there. Double leg takedown. Trying to get Tommy on his feet, but Tommy nice reversal. Turning it into a great shoulder block right there. Now here comes Tommy, hitting those ropes. Nice leg drop right there. Nice, solid leg drop right there by Tommy Hart. Here comes Tommy. Uranabi slam. And you know, normally if this was the match that was scheduled, a tag team match, this would not be a good position for Tommy Hart to be in. He is in Bobby Brock's corner. Or if the match was how it's supposed to be, the Alliance's corner. But Cody Cole is not here right now. Bobby Brock has no one to tag. Tommy Hart can just put Bobby Brock anywhere he wants and there's no one to help Bobby. Nice elbow drop right there by Bobby Brock. Bobby Brock now hitting the ropes. Nice elbow drop right there. Now Bobby gonna attack the leg of Tommy Hart. Trying to ruin the foundation of Tommy here. Sitting Tommy up. Now putting Tommy on one knee. Bobby trying to go for a suplex here. But Tommy's fighting out with a nice punch to the gut. Nice 
elbow shot right there, but Bobby still trying to fight out of this. You can see Tommy Hart reverse. Nice back suplex. These guys are fought all around the ring from Bobby's corner back to Tommy's corner. Great move right there by the Heartbreaker. Spinning leg drop right there by Tommy Hart. Now getting Bobby on his feet. Nice snap man right there by Tommy Hart. And we can see Tommy measuring Bobby here. He's got him up. And here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the finishing move by Tommy Hart. He has got it locked, but you can just see Bobby Brock with some great ring awareness there. He knew exactly where he was, able to get his foot on the ropes. ASAP, not going to let that move be held in too long. Tommy Hart tagging out here, getting Robert Reyes into the ring. And Reyes going for a quick pin here. But Bobby Brock, able to kick out. Bobby Brock with some great ring awareness. He was so close to those ropes, he immediately put his leg on those ropes. Able to break the heartbreaker. I gotta say, if he wasn't right there, this match may have been over. I gotta say, on some level, I think if I was if I was Bobby Brock, I might want this match to be over. He's in a one-on-two -on -two situation. He does not have a very large chance of success. The freshman and, of course, Robert Reyes, full of, well, not full, but having much more energy here versus the the battle weary so to speak Bobby Brock you can see Robert Ray delivering the final of his triplet clotheslines right there and look at this Robert Ray delivering it one more time delivering a nice solid clothesline that's the first one oh, here comes the duo the step over, he's dragging Bobby up, and here comes the final of his triplets. He's hit all six of them. Bobby Brock, nice European uppercut reversal, but not enough to stop Robert Reyes here with that nice single arm locked suplex here. Here comes Robert Reyes with that nice flipping leg drop. Oh, single knee slam right there. Bobby Brock still trying to fight out of it right there with a nice face crusher right here. Look at this. Bobby Brock with a great Tiger Bomb right there. You got to know he's not going for the pin, though. He's not going for the pin. He's got to go for something here. We've already seen the Tiger Bomb, so we got to know that the finishing move for Bobby Brock, the Brock lock is not far off. He's got to lock it in, though. He's got to find an opening. Trying to create an opening with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex right here. Now Bobby just going to stomp right on the face of Robert Reyes. Now getting Robert on his feet and setting up Robert in that corner here. Here comes the reverse STO right into the turnbuckle. You can see Bobby Brock wiping off some of the sweat here, taking a minute here to regain some of the stamina. You know, he has been fighting. He's got some stamina back, and here comes Bobby Brock setting up Robert Reyes. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the Brock lock. Oh, and look at that. The Brock Lock, so deadly and so powerful. Robert Reyes only going to be able to be locked into that submission for a few seconds. A great attempt here by this tag team of Tommy Hart and Robert Reyes. But it was it's just the alliance, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Brock and Cody Cole, great tag team competitors. And Bobby Brock showing how good he is of a singles competitor. Congratulations to Bobby Brock here going into this handicap match and walking out victorious.
Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. It looks like we just found out exactly where Cody Cole has been throughout this matchup. Getting attacked by Jay Bennett. And look at that. You can see the referee trying to see exactly how Cody Cole is doing here. Now here comes Jay Bennett. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Xavier. Xavier Blake jumping over the barricade. He's, gonna, he's climbing the turnbuckle here, folks. Bobby Brock has no idea. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This great execution here by the Warriors. Jay Bennett distracting Bobby Brock. First with the assault on Cody Cole, then with running down here. Making Bobby Brock think he's going to get attacked by Jay Bennett. And then Bobby Brock turning around to find Xavier Blake on the top rope delivering a drop kick. And right that there, you can see that the back suplex face buster. An excellent execution, excellent attack here by the Warriors. Whether you like them or you hate them, you got to admit these guys know exactly what they are doing. Xavier setting up Bobby on that rope and getting him out of that ring. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can just see Xavier Blake celebrating in the ring. Jay Bennett celebrating on the stage here. These two guys just took out the alliance here. Just a quick, brutal, and well orchestrated assault by Xavier Blake. And who knows how long Jay Bennett's been attacking Cody Cole. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are getting help for Cody Cole, also getting some assistance for Bobby Brock. So we're going to take a minute to get both of those men to the back, get them some medical attention to make sure that they are well as they can be. But the show must go on, and this is our third match of the evening. It will be a triple threat match between DJ Summers, the professional Evan Perkins, as well as Doc Adams. The winner of this match will go on to Hell on Earth, two face the man of the hour Jack Smith and that match of course will determine the number one contender for Jackson Wright's Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship this is match number three and it is coming up next all right ladies and gentlemen it is time for our next match of the evening of course this triple threat match that will determine uh, the man that will go to hell on earth in three weeks to face Jack Smith for the number one contender slot for the IPW Television Championship. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for my demeanor. I Normally, of course, I must be more happy promoting the talent, the excellent talent we have here at IPW, such as the hitman, Doc Adams. But uh, at this moment in time, I just... Uh, I'm, my mind is completely gone at this moment. I have to wonder exactly what the Alliance is feeling right now. What Cody Cole and Bobby Brock are both going through being attacked by the Warriors. And, uh, and in all honesty, it was a very smart thing for Jay Bennett and Xavier Blake to do. Getting a, an attack on, on their opponents in three weeks. Of course, every little bit helps. Attacking your opponent one week in the first week four weeks before the pay-per-view It's got to help in some way shape or form But this uh, this attack right here by the Warriors that we saw first Making sure that Bobby Brock didn't have a tag team partner for his tag team match Which basically made his match a handicap match and then showing Bobby Brock his partner on the stage being attacked by Jay Bennett That's both mental and physical and of course the assault that we witnessed by Xavier Blake. Now you don't have to agree with the Warriors methods, but you do have to agree with one damn fact and it is an undeniable fact that the Warriors do know how to hurt their opponent and they definitely know how to get inside their minds. You gotta wonder what Cody Cole especially is thinking being taken out of the match and then just leaving his partner there all alone. Now of course Bobby Brock did win with excellence excellent ability but you gotta know he would be doing much better if that match was a tag team match instead of a handicap match now getting off of the tag team division with the Warriors and the Alliance here we see DJ Summers here the most entertaining man in IPW 
coming down here, getting ready for his triple threat match. Personally, in this match, I'm rooting for DJ Summers, to be honest. He's been on a roll here in IPW, unlike Doc Adams, unlike Evan Perkins. I think this match is all DJ Summers. He's put in a lot of work here in the ring, and I think it's all going to pay off here tonight. First step, win this match. Second step, number one contender. Third step, IPW television champion. DJ Summers is going to be on that nameplate. But here comes the other man standing in his way besides Doc Adams. Here comes Evan Perkins. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the professional Ladies and gentlemen, here is Evan Perkins. Oh, but look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion here. This is the match that all of these guys are in here for. To see which one of these men will get the opportunity to fight for the number one contender. So I have to face this guy, the bad guy, Jackson Wright. Looks like Jackson maybe thinning out some of the competition a little bit here. Just getting a, a random assault in on Evan Perkins. You've already seen the assault on the Warriors here to take out the Alliance. We don't need another assault here on Evan Perkins. Evan Perkins has done nothing wrong. And you can see Jackson Wright just doing some showboating here to the fans here in attendance. Great move right there by Jackson Wright. Now Jackson just gonna throw Evan Perkins closer to the stage here. Another big elbow drop by Jackson Wright. And once again, Jackson throwing Evan Perkins closer to the stage here so everybody in attendance can see, picking up that television title and BAM! Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Right on Evan Perkins' face. That championship goal just colliding with him. And now you can see Jackson measuring Evan for the bad pile driver. On the stage. On the championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like this matchup between Doc Adams and DJ Summers uh, is going to start. This match, of course, was intended to be a match between Doc Adams, DJ Summers, and Evan Perkins. But as we just saw, Evan Perkins will not be in this matchup uh, thanks to the actions of Jackson Wright, the IPW television champion. Evan Perkins has been taken to the back. By IPW officials and will be uh, looked at to see his medical status here. So now I guess this match is a one-on-one -on -one match. Doc Adams and DJ Simmons. As far as I'm aware, this match does still have the same stipulations and the same implications as it had before. The winner of this match, whether it's Doc Adams or whether it's DJ Simmons, will go on in three weeks to hell on earth to face Jack Smith, the man of the hour. And they will be fighting for the right to call himself the number one contender for the IPW Television Championship. We will see which one of these men will get to go one-on-one -on -one with Jack Smith in three weeks. It will be DJ Summers or it will be Doc Adams. One's got to wonder where Jack Smith is, where the man of the hour is. He's got to be watching this match somewhere Curious to see which one of these two men he will be going one-on-one -on -one against. Same with Jackson Wright. Jackson Wright's going to be watching this match. While this match does not determine who he will be facing, this match will uh, narrow down the options for him, so to speak. So far, you can see DJ Summers really taking control here. Doc Adams had this match in the very early parts, but you can see DJ Summers taking control here with those nice triplet of elbows. Now DJ Summers setting up for something here. Tornado! DDT kind of getting him caught right there on the ropes like a tornado DDT guillotine right there. Looks like Doc Adams has had enough though. Kicking away DJ Summers but not going to be able to capitalize on anything here.
DJ Summer sending it to the outside on the apron. Doc, I'm sitting back in the ring. These men going back and forth. Nice neck breaker right there by DJ Summers. Oklahoma slam position here. Slamming them into those ropes. And here comes the running power slam center of that ring. Got to give it up to Doc Adams. He tried fighting back against DJ Summers, but it was just not good enough. DJ went for that second rope knee drop. A little bit of a high risk there, but Doc Adams able to avoid it. It's called high risk for a reason. Now Doc Adams taking control right here, showing off a little bit of cockiness here with his knee on the back of the neck of DJ Summers. Now Doc taking control, eye tripping DJ into that corner, facing his back, now turning him around here. Iris Swift into the opposite corner. Oof, running a forearm shot right there on DJ Summers. DJ trying to fight him off though with a nice knee to the throat. And DJ praising to the crowd a little bit here, doing a little bit of showboating here, getting the fans on his side. And we know the IPW fans do love DJ Summers. The most entertaining man here in IPW. Now DJ getting Doc on his feet. And setting Doc up, power bomb position right here. Here comes the alley. Oop! Just slamming Doc Adams' face right into that top turnbuckle. But Doc Adams getting back on his feet immediately, delivering some strong blows to the face of DJ Summers. Now Doc Adams pulling DJ Summers closer to the center of the ring. Pinfall attempt right here. Only able to get a one count, however, before DJ Summers was able to kick out. Can't have surprise, though. Some quick strikes are not going to keep DJ Summers down. DJ has shown a lot here in his time on IPW. We can't expect him to just be taken down by a couple shots. Now, DJ might be taking control once again as he rakes the back of Doc Adams. But Doc Adams trying not to let that happen. Some nice elbow shots to DJ Summers. Now, sending DJ into those ropes. Nice shoulder block right there by Doc Adams. But you can see DJ back body drop reversal. Not going to let Doc Adams get control either. Oh, look at this. You can see DJ Summers contorting Doc Adams like this. He's got him locked right here. That applies immense pressure on the back and just generally the whole upper body of Doc Adams. That is called the stretch rider. Now we can see DJ Summers taking more time attacking more of the body parts of Doc Adams, really doing some, some chip damage, so to speak. But Doc Adams has had enough as he jumps right on DJ Summers. Lufez press and then he rains down those fists from above. Doc went for that double axe handle, but you can see DJ Summers able to avoid it, turning it into an Uranagi slam. But Doc Adams not going to let DJ Summers get any kind of momentum. Reversal right there. Turning it into a shoulder block. DJ Summers blowing off Doc Adams with both his feet. Going into that corner here. And it looks like DJ Summers is setting up for the finishing move. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. The get down. The finishing move by DJ Summers. The get down. And Doc Adams has gotten down for the three count. And ladies and gentlemen... Here is your winner and the man that will be going to hell on earth in three weeks to face Jack Smith for the number one contender slot. Your winner, DJ Summers. A great match here by both of these men. But in the end, like I said, DJ Summers has been on a roll here in IPW and it was this. It was this right here. That was the ending of this match. The get down. That clothesline performed by DJ Summers, accompanied by the pinfall, gave him the 1-2-3 victory and just punched his ticket for just one of the great matches we have scheduled for you coming in three weeks at Hell on Earth. Jack Smith versus DJ Summers. Number one contender match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event of the evening. 
It will be the manliest man in IPW, Ryan O'Ryan, going one-on-one -on -one with the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, accompanied, of course, by his manager, Henry Long. It will be Ryan O'Ryan going one-on-one -on -one with the champion, Beast. This is your main event of the evening, and it is coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for our main event of the evening. And here comes one of the two competitors that, of course, will be participating in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the manliest man here that we have in IPW, the real man of Impact Pro Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ryan O. Ryan. Gotta believe that Ryan O. Ryan coming down here definitely, definitely has a huge chip on his shoulder. A lot of nervousness going through his body right now. As he is gonna go one on one with the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion Beast. If he were to win this matchup, that would be huge here for Ryan O'Ryan. That would do wonders for getting him an IPW title match. But of course, he is not the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion because he's a pushover. He is a tough guy, and Ryan O'Ryan is gonna have to put on one heck of a performance if he does want to win this matchup. We'll see what Ryan O'Ryan can do here in a few moments. But of course, Ryan O'Ryan is now in the ring waiting for his opponent. Ryan O'Ryan with a serious look on his face. You can tell he's ready for this. But now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Ryan O'Ryan's opponent. Here comes the Impact Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Here comes Beast. And of course, Beast walking side by side with his manager. Walking side by side with Henry Long. Gotta believe these two men are not happy with what happened last week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then allow me to tell you very quickly. Basically, what we saw was complete disrespect by the phenomenal one Peter Young dished out to Beast. You gotta believe that Beast isn't happy about that, and you gotta know that Henry Long is just as unhappy about it. We're gonna see Beast take out some of his aggression here in this matchup against Ryan O'Ryan. The Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship, of course, will be defended in three weeks at Hell on Earth. Peter Young better hope that Beast can get out some of that aggression here tonight. You do not want Beast to be angry, and I mean really angry, in the coming weeks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is about to begin. That's Beast, of course, round around on the opposite side. Referee has rung the bell, and the match has begun, and oh my god! Immediately, Beast, Spear after Spear. One Spear, Ryan O'Ryan was able to get up. Another Spear, and it's just devastating. Immediate domination right here by Beast. A suplex right there on Ryan O'Ryan. Beast. Just doing a quick taunt here, getting Ryan O'Ryan up to his feet. And there you go, a gourd buster. Beast doing another measurement here of Ryan O'Ryan. Ryan getting back up to his feet just to get speared another time. And here we see another replay of that spear right through the chest, ladies and gentlemen. A dangerous spear right here. Looks like Beast was setting up for something here, but Ryan O'Ryan trying to get up to his feet, but Beast gonna shut him down with another Gourd Buster. Looks like Beast preparing to end this matchup with another Spear. 
pinfall right here by Beast. One, two, three. This match is over, ladies and gentlemen. This match is over. My God. This match was over in an instant. And, oh my God, this match was over. Henry Long grabbing a microphone. Beast exiting the ring here. Well, let's, let's not say exiting exactly. My God, this, this was just complete domination. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can see Henry Long had the microphone in hand getting in the ring. Looks like he has something to say and we're going to find out what it is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just heard everything we needed to hear by Henry Long. You can know right now by what you just heard that Henry Long and Beast are not happy with Peter Young. One's got to wonder what Peter Young is thinking. We know that Beast isn't happy. Henry Long is definitely not happy. One's got to wonder exactly what's on Peter Young's mind and what punishment awaits him at the hands of this monster, this angry angry monster ladies and gentlemen we appreciate you all watching ipw this week we hope you could enjoy this episode of impact pro wrestling and we hope to see you all next week for the next episode and until then we will see you all again